Hey, look. Huh? What? Some company is hiring an outdoor sales coordinator. Only a part-time job, what? True, but I can only work part-time since I'm still studying. Then are you going to apply? I think so. My parents think I'm overspending and they're cutting my allowance. Hello, Tangerine Marketing. Isabel speaking. How may I help you? Hello, hi. I'm calling about an ad for the post of Outdoor Sales Coordinator. Ah, yes. Would you like to come for an interview at 4 this afternoon? Uh, do I have to write in first? Uh, no need. Just come to our office and we'll take it from here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hi. How may I help you? Uh, I'm here for the Outdoor Sales Coordinator job. Ah, yes. Please hold. The candidates are here. How many? Uh, two of them. Okay, bring them in. Okay. Francis, they're here. Hi, please have a seat. Gentlemen, I'm Francis. Uh, hi, I'm Kei Xiang. I'm here for the outdoor sales coordinator job. Yes, you've come to the right place. And you? Uh, this is my friend Leroy. Hi. Leroy, nice name. Are you here for the job too? Ah, uh, no, I'm just accompanying my friend. I see. Well, our timing couldn't be better. Actually, we do have two positions available. You may apply if you're interested. Uh, can you tell us more about this job that we are applying? Sure. We're having a training session in about an hour's time. I'll tell you more then. All right, let's begin our training. I'm Francis. At Tangerine Events and Marketing, we do direct selling to help organizations or charities. One of the organizations or charities that we work with is Selling Deeds. We're doing direct selling to help orphans, the poor, and the jobless. Your job as outdoor sales coordinator is to approach the public and convince them to help the less fortunate. Now use this as a selling point. Anyone who wishes to help is $10. Nothing less. Once you've collected the money, keep them in plastic folders like these. Use one of these vouchers as a token of appreciation. Any questions? So we give vouchers in exchange for donations? Good question. Now there's something very important I want to tell all of you. We don't collect donations, so don't ever use the word donation. Tell them we are helping the unemployed or the poor children. Show them the pictures. Why if some police officer come after us? Why should they? We're not committing any crime. I think he means that we are approaching people in public. So what if some police officer come and question us? Right. Should the police or anyone question you, show them the company letter which we already gave you. Once again, never say donation. Say you're doing direct selling. Direct selling to help support the poor. For doing this, each of you will be paid 50% of the money you collect. Any questions? Hey, my friend joined this company before. Eh? Very good money. No questions? Happy selling and good luck. <sighs> okay. I don't think we should do this. Eh? Why? What's wrong? I don't feel good. Something like, something like not right. Eh? What's not right? And there's a contact number on the company letter. It's not the charity, it's the company. Roy, if you feel that's not right, you can always back out. Then you? I'll stay. I need the money. But what if the whole thing was illegal? You think so? Look, let's just take it that we're doing it for a good cause. Let's just think of all the poor people we'll be helping. Come on, let's go. Oh, hi ma'am. Would you like to help the charity Caring Deeds? Where are you from? I'm from Tangerine Events and Marketing. We're helping the charity Caring Deeds. For $10, you get a gift voucher. No, no thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you. Hi miss, do you want to help poor people? What is this? 
Where are you from? Uh, we are from this company, Tangerine Events and Marketing. It's just $10. It make their lives a lot better. Uh, I don't think so. It's just $10. It's for a good cause. Yeah, it's... Okay. This is for you. What's this for? Um, it's just a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you. You. Yes. See this people over here? These are poor people. And they're not as lucky as you. You can help by giving some money. Two dollars only? You keep a minimum of ten dollars. I give you a voucher. Sorry, but that's so much money. <laughs> you sure or not? Ten dollars you don't have. Hello. Really not? You sure? by supporting the charity carrying deeds. May I see your pass? What? Hi, sir. Would you like to help the poor by supporting the charity carrying deeds? May I see your pass? What? Where are you from? Is everything okay? You said you're collecting money for charity. I'd like to know where you're from. Uh, sir, we are from Tendering Events and Marketing. We are doing some charity work for carrying deeds. Uh, may I have a look at the company letter? Uh, yeah, sure. How will the donations be used? Uh, they'll be used to help the poor. Is that so? Yes, and for $10, you'll get a gift voucher. Now, if I were to give you $10, how much of it will go to charity? Do you know? Um, sir, no one actually told us about that. We do not know. How can you not know? The money given to you could be misused. Have you ever thought of that? Sir, we are just doing something good. We believe that the money will go into helping them. Do you know that you need a license to collect funds yeah. for charity? Sir, this is the license? No, this is not a license. Do you even have a license? What's the name of the organization you're helping? Yes, sir, it's called Caring Deeds. Caring Deeds? Never heard of it. Mister, are you going to give money to the poor or not? If neither of you can produce a license for me from either the police or the National Council of Social Service, then I'm afraid not. Who does he think he is? Some kind of police officer? If he's a police officer, he already arrested us. Huh. Maybe some government official? They better get out of here. Kay Siang brought in $40 and Leroy brought in $50. So that makes a total of. $90? Yes, $90. Isabel, I would like to speak with the boys. Okay, I'll be outside. Have a seat. Is that all you can collect? Just $90? We've tried our best already. Your best isn't good enough. Do we know the others are doing so well? They can collect $100 in one single day. Oh, we are sorry. So, what can we do to collect more? If you can't tell a sad story, you just have to shake people up. Well, what do you mean? I mean doing all you can to get people to give. I can't believe it. How could a company working for a charity even suggest forcing people to give money? I saw how the other collectors behave. They literally force people to give. Me too. Looks like you were right. I think they're doing something illegal. Should we make a police report? A lady approached me to ask for a donation for a charity organization. Uh, when I gave her a small amount of fund, she pestered me for more. Um, she stated that the, the, the amount, the standard amount was $10.
I was approached by students uh, selling vouchers to get uh, charity donations for an organization. So they are selling $10 voucher, but I wanted to donate something less than that. But uh, they cannot accept anything less than 10 uh, when I ask for some identification and uh, um, authorization, she provided me with a photo ID as well as a laminated letter that seemed to authorize her to solicit funds for a charity organization. Okay, um, they are students, so they are basically friendly and they try to appeal to me to help, it, help them out in buying the vouchers. I feel obliged to help them. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, firstly they are students and they've been standing there for a long time. But then again, I, uh, I'm not sure whether the full amount will go to the charity organisation because they're selling a voucher for this uh, in exchange for the donation money. I took note of uh, the charity organisation mentioned in the authorisation letter. And when I checked against the MCCY website, I realized that this uh, organization is a the, is not a legitimate or endorsed uh, charity organization. The Office of the Commissioner of Charities has received close to 50 reports on such improper fundraising activities from late 2012 to 2013. These activities undermine public confidence and compromise the credibility of the charity sector that legitimately raises funds for the needy in Singapore. Fundraising collections for charitable purpose conducted on the streets or in public places and from house to house require a license from the National Council of Social Service or the police. When approached by collectors who claim that through buying their products, your money will be used for charitable purposes, you should not feel pressurised to give. First, find out whether they have a collector's certificate of authority issued either by the National Council of Social Service or the police. Next ask how much of the money that you are giving will actually reach the intended beneficiaries. Finally, you should also ask for other useful information such as what happens to the remaining money and ask the collector to elaborate on the actual activities the company conducts to help the intended beneficiaries. Having said that, there are many deserving charitable organisations that fundraise for worthy causes. As such, strong public support is still required in order for these charities to serve the community. We encourage donations towards genuine fundraising efforts through informed giving. That is, do check and ask the necessary questions before you give. But do not stop giving. Members of the public, when faced with such requests for donations, can verify the validity of the licence through three verification services, namely the charity portal, SMS, or by scanning the quick response code on the permit if there is one. You may access the charity portal at www.charities.gov.sg and key in the fundraising organization's name to ascertain its validity. The link is also available through the Police at SG smartphone app. Or you can send an SMS to 79777 using the format seen below. In less than a minute, you will receive an SMS reply indicating whether the organization has a valid license or certificate to raise funds. Lastly, for permits issued by the National Council or Social Service, you may scan the quick response code indicated on the collector's certificate of authority. You are advised to contact the police for assistance if you suspect the collection to be illegitimate after your checks. If you are a student or a parent of students volunteering for community service or fundraising activities during the coming school holidays, be vigilant. Know the organisation and find out more about the charity you or your children will be helping. It is an offence to undertake house-to-house -house and street collections without a licence. Any person who promotes such a collection without a valid licence shall be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding $5,000 or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or to both. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any query or feedback, do drop us an email. Until next month, I'm DSP Julia Slim, signing off.